Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at the WWE Superstars Mankind. Now, for those of you not familiar with the legendary Mick Foley, Mankind is one of his uh, three most famous personas. Uh, you had Dude Love, Cactus Jack, and of course Mankind. So this, uh, this is from the WWE Superstars line. This is what uh, replaced... The masters of the WWE line. Uh, you're still using basically the standard Origins style bodies. Uh, just like the masters of WWE did. Uh, but they're just going more for the classic uh, caricatures and gimmicks. Uh, and not using any of the uh, masters of the universe uh, type uh, equipment, armor, accessories. You know, not use any of those to try to compare them. These are just supposed to be just the straight uh, wrestlers. So, uh, like I said, we got Mankind here. As you can see, it says includes fabric gear. So he's actually got the uh, cloth shirt. Uh, he's got the mask on the back. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of a kind of a um, unimpressive back. They didn't use color photos. It's all black and white. Uh, but you get uh, Have a Nice Day, Foley is God, Mandible Claw, Mrs. Foley's Baby Boy. <laughs> and then you got Cross Cell, uh, and it's not really artwork. These are actual photos. Undertaker, Papa Shango, and uh, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. So let's, uh, let's, let's get this out of the box. Uh, I've been looking forward to this. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Just a fun guy. All right, so pull from the top right, try to save the card. And let's see, take him out of the sleeve here. I'm gonna lower the camera so we can get down to his level a little bit. There we go. Get all our stuff out of the way. Okay. So he's got, uh, he's got the bands holding his hands and feet. We are going to just try to rip them out. Yeah, this is a cool figure. I love this dude. He was never the best wrestler. He was just a great personality. All right, so in his little accessories pack, we get some additional hands. Let's see what these are. And I'm about to get scissors to open this up. Uh, well, you can see, but it looks like, looks like three different sets of hands here total, including the two he has right now. That's kind of neat to get that many sets of hands. All right, we'll dump those out. All right, so as you can see, he has right now on him two gripping hands. And then you also get a left-handed closed fist, uh, a right-handed gripping hand, kind of like what He-Man would have to hold the sword. And then you get uh, two open hands. Of course, there's his right hand having the uh, mandible claw. That's what the glove is. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. We get a total of three sets of hands with this one figure. That's cool for, you know, customizing. You may use these for another figure that you have. I dig that. All right, so like I said, it's a standard Origins body. Uh... Lower lower body, this is parts you would have seen on the, the uh, Masters of the WWE figures. You're going to have uh, the same detachable uh, body parts, just like the Origins, I believe. Let's, uh, let's verify. Ooh, yeah. So, yeah, you can pop it apart. So, everything's going to be about the same. Uh, the biggest thing here is that we got a cloth shirt. And we're supposed to be able to remove this mask. Yeah, there we go. So you move the mask, and there we got uh, Mick Foley's face. Pretty good likeness of Mick Foley. 
It would have been neat if they had the hair back where you could see the missing ear. And oh, I will say that the teeth are inaccurate. <laughs> because if you're familiar with him, he is missing some teeth. But yeah, that's a that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool removable mask. Let's see how well it goes back on. Oh yeah, so it just kind of sits in place there. And he's put that behind the hair. There we go. I dig it. I really dig this figure. It's fun, simple. Uh, not too much going on with it. Some of the some of the figures had just way too much going on. Too many uh, too many accessories. Whereas this one is uh, fairly simple. And let's see. Let me add some light in here because it's really kind of dark. Oh, there we go. Gosh, I can't believe I had that going the entire time and it wasn't nearly as bright as it should have been. So yeah, let's uh, let's get another close up here. Yeah. You can see the back of the shirt. Really solid figure. And it's just uh, just odd enough where it's going to look really well uh, next to your Masters of the WWE and your Masters Universe Origins figures. Still at that five and a half inch scale, and closer to six with the Origins because of uh, being able to straighten the legs out. But this is a solid figure. This is actually a lot better than uh, some of the other ones that we've seen. Uh, some of the ones with the cloth. Just it just really looks so cheap. Like that uh, Bray Wyatt figure is just horrible with that cheap bow. Some of them I just I, I just didn't care to even buy them. But mankind, when they when they show that this one was coming, I knew I had to have it because, like I said, I'm a Mick Foley fan. Uh, so yeah, this was one I really wanted for my collection. What do you guys think? Have you picked this one up yet? Uh, let me know in the thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have any other ones through the line? And uh, what is your favorite? And are you interested in this line? Once they moved away from the Masters of WWE and they went to this format, uh, are you a fan of it? Do you like some of the figures that's come out? Uh, I think the Undertaker's kind of cool. Papa Shango's all right. I uh, didn't care for the Ted DiBiase very much or the. Uh, uh, Bray Wyatt, but uh, maybe I'll pick up some more in the future. I don't know. Uh, just let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. As always, appreciate you sticking around. Give the video a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.